Hello and welcome to Newsy. This is Surbhi and I am with Vijay. So, five days after Prime Minister Narendra Modi congratulated the entire nation over the success of Mission Shakti, the NASA today has said that uh, Mission Shakti was a terrible thing and it was also unacceptable uh, as it has created a lot of debris in the space. Uh, the uh, ad- uh, NASA administration has said that over 400 pieces of debris have been created after uh, after yeah. Mission Shakti. Yeah. So, tell our viewers the details about it, Vijay. Prime Minister Narendra Modi congratulated the entire nation for the success of Mission Shakti as our anti-satellite weapon destroyed live satellite 300 kilometers above the uh, surface of the earth. Mm-hmm. So this was uh, the uh, satellite was uh, orbiting the earth on a uh, low uh, orbit. But the fear expressed by NASA Chief James Brandestine is palpable, it is yeah. expected, understood. Because if a satellite test creates 400 debris in uh, space, it poses serious threat or risk to the life of the astronauts and scientists those are working at the International Space Station. Exactly. Be- because they are working for the development of the world, for the betterment of the mankind. And if their life is at jeopardy, then it is poses a uh, serious question. Mm-hmm. So the question is, Indian scientists on that same day said the test was a calculated mission and it will take maximum 45 days. Uh, the de- de- debris to fall on the ground. Mm-hmm. So, it has not developed, uh, created that much debris, so there is nothing to be yeah. alarmed about it. Mm-hmm. However, the NASA has expressed this confidence um, fear that the space debris poses serious threat to the International Space Station and the manned uh, space flights. So, we have seen several movies, uh, Hollywood movies, how the space debris create uh, was hazard mm-hmm. to the crew members of the International Space Station and manned flights. Yeah, also uh, NASA administration said that uh, the pieces that were bigger than 10 cm are still trackable. However, those who are you know smaller than that are couldn't be tracked. Also, f- from 400 uh, pieces of debris, uh, almost 60 have been tracked. Yeah, hmm. so Brandon Stanley also said that uh, some of the space debris uh, measure more than 10 cm mm-hmm. in size and uh, they have tracked 60 of the uh, debris and uh, uh, 24 of the six, uh, out of the 60 debris they are mm-hmm. flying above the perigee of the International Space Station. Uh, station. Okay. So almost all the there are some miniature uh, debris that can't be tracked mm-hmm. uh, because they are flying at very high, uh, high distance mm-hmm. uh, so it is very impossible it is mm-hmm. like um, almost impossible for the NASA scientists to spot them. So Vijay I would like to ask one thing that uh, it's not the first time that a mission like this has been you know conducted in the space before that Russia was was there, China was there, the America itself was there. So at that time also there was a lot of debris that was created in the uh, space. So what about that? Because uh, US is uh, saying that it is also dealing with the debris that was created by China. So we were uh, asked a very pertinent question. Yeah. The same NASA mm-hmm. that is uh, crying foul today has conducted several anti-satellite uh, tests in mm-hmm. the past. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would like to tell you that the in United States Air Force mm-hmm. had scrambled the F-15 fighter jet mm-hmm. with a nuclear tipped missile mm-hmm. to destroy a live satellite. Okay. And uh, it was uh, in the ma- it was a very shocking thing mm-hmm. that the same sat- m- m- missile not only destroyed its targeted missile but it also created two other sat- satellites of the United States. Okay. So from that it was uh, a GS missile that was carrying a nuclear tipped um, armament. Okay. So if you uh, go by that way. It, the satellite, the destruction of three satellites by a single nuclear tipped missile mm-hmm. had created enough space debris. Mm-hmm. But the same America and NASA, they are pitching gospel today. Yeah. Uh, if we take about, talk about Russia, Russia tested its uh, noodle missiles. Mm-hmm. It carried out 20 tests. Some of them were successful while some others were not successful. Yeah. And you can imagine during the test of 20 missiles, the amount of uh, the space debris hmm. created in the uh, in deep space. Yeah. Forget US and uh, the Russia. L- let's talk about China. In 2007, China tested its long-range Dongfeng 21 missile, mm-hmm. and the same NASA said the nuclear test, the um, anti-sat missile, satellite missile test created 3,000 debris. Yeah. So if you go by that number. Nuclear missile test, uh, nuclear missile used to destroy um, uh, anti-satellite, uh, um, de- destroy to s- satellite, 20 missile test, even Russia also used a uh, MIG mm. uh, um, with a nuclear missile also, reports were also there and China's anti-satellite uh, missile test 
and at the same time uh, take for consideration India's uh, anti satellite missile test. Yeah. It is minuscule, hmm. but yes, we have created some space debris, and as our scientists have told it categorically that they will be downed. They will fall on the earth within yeah. 45 days, exactly. but NASA is not waiting for 45 days. Mm. Instead yes. of uh, the end, the space debris that are flying in the deep space today is the contribution of Russia, America and China. Mm. This is our first test, but they have conducted so many tests in deep space. Yeah. So who needs to be blamed here? Yeah, exactly. Well, this is all for now. For more news and updates, keep following music. Thank you.